In this video, we're going to look at basic automation recording in Pro Tools. We'll start by looking at the write automation mode. Here you can see I have a basic Pro Tools session with just one track, and I can see my edit and mix windows, although I've resized both to be quite small. Before we write any real-time automation, we'll want to make sure that our automation settings are set correctly. We can get to the automation window by going to the window menu and selecting automation. And for our purposes, we'll want to make sure that volume automation is enabled. Then you can go ahead and close the automation window. Next, we'll go to the track that we're planning to automate and set the automation mode to auto write. In auto write mode, we'll begin recording automation as soon as we hit play in the transport. It's important to note that the track itself does not need to be record enabled to record automation. That's because the track's record button is only for audio. Before we start recording automation, I'll want to change my track view to volume. That way we'll be able to see the automation as we write it. And now we're ready to write automation, so I'll go ahead and hit play and move the volume fader to write some automation on the track. Bravo, you've got a tango inside the building and two more in the loading yard out back. Sensors are detecting several gun emplacements as well. Your mission is to eliminate all hostiles. You are weapons free. Notice that when I stopped moving the fader near the end, it continued to write automation at the setting where I let go. This is one of the features of auto write mode. You'll want to be careful when using auto write to make sure that you don't accidentally overwrite automation that's further down the timeline. And now we're ready to play back the automation that we recorded. Bravo, you've got a tango inside the building and two more in the loading yard out back. Sensors are detecting several gun emplacements as well. Your mission is to eliminate all hostiles. Another thing you want to note is that by default, the automation mode will automatically switch to auto latch after each pass of auto write. This is to prevent you from accidentally overriding automation the next time you press play. Once you're done writing automation, you'll want to go ahead and switch the auto mode back to auto read. In auto read mode, all of the existing automation will play back, but you won't be able to record any new automation in real time. However, you can still pencil in automation or use the grabber to modify automation. With the grabber, you can click and drag on an existing automation breakpoint to move it, click in a place where there is no existing automation to add a new breakpoint, or hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows to delete automation breakpoints. Another automation mode that you should be aware of is Auto Off. If for some reason you don't want automation to play back on this track, simply switch the automation mode to Auto Off. Even though you can see automation on the track, it will not play back. Bravo, you've got a tango inside the building and two more in the loading yard out back. Sensors are detecting several gun emplacements as well. Generally, auto off mode is only used temporarily and you'll typically want to go back to auto read. So those are just some of the automation modes that are available in Pro Tools. We'll look at auto touch and auto latch in a future video.